it's time to take a look at the birthday presents that my wife and my daughter bought me in April. But it's the end of June. Why have I taken so long? More to come. Roll the intros. And welcome back to Chelmsford Junction. I'm Peter. As I was suggested today, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of items that I got from my wife and my daughter for my birthday in April. And this is the end of June. Why is it taking me so long to get these items onto my YouTube channel? Well, been on holiday. When we came back, I started the gym. And I'm now starting to lose weight. At the moment, I've lost about £12 in weight in the past eight weeks, which I'm happy about. But I'm carrying on and I want to try and lose about another two and a half stone if I can. That's one reason why I haven't been doing many videos on my channel. The other reason is, as you've seen from a small video clip I put on here uh, a couple of weeks ago, we have now got a dog in the house. It is a lovely Siberian Husky called Finley. And obviously he does take up quite a bit of time walking uh, a few times a day and uh, quite a lot of the time I'm walking about four or five miles in a day with him on trips. So without further ado, we're going to get back to the items in question and we're going to have a look and see what my wife and my daughter bought me for my birthday back in April. So these are the two items in question. We have a Dapol set of four Mark III carriages and a set of one powered and one dummy car HSTP and the item number on this one is 2D-027-002 and it is the HST-P Power Car Pack 2 and the numbers are 975812 and 975813. There is two variations of these sets. I've got the set that's got the full yellow ends, whereas the other set has only got um, partial yellow ends. So you wouldn't have the yellow on this end here. It would just be on the actual fronts of the locos. The other, item, the other pack, obviously, is the four coaches, and this is... 2P-007-001, and this is the HSTP Salon Pack 1. And I'll just bring that bit in there, guys. I'm not going to read that bit off for you. These are okay for radius 1 curves on N-gauge, um, which I haven't tried out yet. These have not even been out in the packs yet, so I'll get one of the coaches out, first of all. And as you can see, they are very, very well designed. Very, very, the, the printing of the paint scheme is beautiful. You can slightly see on the camera there the Intercity logo. And very, very minutely at this end, there is the number of the coach. They, in the pack, you get two first class coaches and you also get two standard um saloon coaches now this is the first pack there is a second pack that i will be getting very shortly um so that way that way i can have a complete eight mark free rake this one we'll get it out of the box straight, straight away obviously you get the usual destructions and the warranty always good to read them Obviously, with the warranty, it tells you about how you can get it replaced, repaired, etc., etc., for up to two years. And on the destructions, obviously, it tells you the usual where to oil, um, where to fit the DCC chip if you want to put this over to DCC, or you can run this just as normal straight out of the box on DC. At the moment, 
I am running this on DC, but eventually I will be getting a layout up in my loft and that will be DC, so obviously these will eventually be chipped over. The packaging, obviously you get the normal cardboard outer sleeve. You get a full plastic case. And as you can see, it is quite good plastic. Got the Depo logo there. And on the inside, you do get an extra piece of plastic to protect the logos. I'll just quickly pause the camera, guys, while I try and get these out for you. Also comes with the set. You get a pack of extra couplings, extra detail parts in there. So you can change the couplings if you want to, or and you can also, I believe, in there as well, there is the um, little round bits for like the brake discs that you would normally see on an HST. But the locos themselves, this is the powered one. And if I spin it around to the front, like I was saying, this one's got all the full yellow ends, whereas the other set has only got the front part yellow. But as you can see, the print of the paint scheme is absolutely brilliant. There's no flaws. The, the separately fitted metal handrails on each side. The roof detail is nice and crisp. Obviously, you can see the exhaust vents there. Obviously, on these ones, you, on the normal HST, you would have a piece here um, that would help the fumes go away from the loco to stop getting the front part of the loco dirty um, but obviously this is the prototype of the HST and on the back you can see as per the prototype it has got the yellow ends that is the dummy car the power car and the dummy car is basically exactly the same so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to quickly pause the camera Get these two on to layout. I'm not going to put the coaches on because my layout in the front room is not big enough to have a four mark for four mark freeze and the power cars. I'm just going to put the power cars on and we'll show you them running. So as you can see, straight out the box, it's a perfect little performer. Now it's got three very, very bright white lights as you can see on the front. And as I get a derailment, which is always the way when you're doing something to the camera. But like I said, this is, this is an old layout and it has got a couple of gremlins that need to be sorted. Put the front wheels back on properly. Now what I'm going to try and do is get the loco into position where I'm going to put the... I'm not sure if you can just I'll try and zoom in guys for you. Zoom it in a bit more. Bring it down a bit. As you can see there is one little red light on the back. And... Also, which is quite interesting with the DAP hole HST, HSTP, is from the wish around here, guys. Bring it forward a little bit. I'm going to have to hold it for you on this one. But you get a little red light when it's going forwards. But when it's going backwards, you get a light coming up on the other side, which I will try and, if I take off the power car for the minute, pop it up there, bring you back around here, sorry for the shaky camera guys, try and zoom in on the back of it again for you. So you get a little white light on the back 
of the power car when it's going in in reverse and when it's going forward you get a little red light so obviously when these power cars were first brought out they thought all oh, right we're going to need to move these on their own so they put a tail light and a small headlight on the back of the power cars which i think when they brought these when they were making these um in the real world i thought that was a pretty good idea but at the box it does run really, really well as you saw so there's our little look at the dapol engage mark three coaches for the atp and also the atp um set so like i said there are two versions one's got the full yellow ends which is what i've got and you also get one that's only got the small warning panel on the front would i recommend these yes i would recommend these i did have a problem um whilst filming this video with the actual hstp set um the actual blanking plug um wherever you, uh, if you want it for dc on it on its own like i'm running now or obviously if you want to put dc see it obviously you've got to put another chip in but the actual blanking plug fell out of its holder or the actual pcb boards in the power car and when i went to actually go and do part of the video of the running session it wasn't working so i've had to take it apart and found that the actual blanking plug had actually fallen out um so bear that in mind guys if you do get a dipole hst packs or this hstp pack um if you can get them still um that might be a generic flaw with them apart from that that is the only thing that i can find wrong with this set um would i recommend them definitely if you want to get one if you're a hst hst fan but yeah definitely recommend them hope you've enjoyed this video guys as always i've enjoyed making it for you if you have enjoyed it please smash that like button down the left hand side if you're one of my subscribers and you're still with me after all this time great big thumbs up thank you for staying with me if you want to become a subscriber all you have to do is press the subscribe button down the right hand side click on the little bell icon select all and you'll get notified of every video that i publish from here on in if you want to carry on watching videos from my channel guys there should be a link coming up here and here until the next time take care of yourselves protect your loved ones but above all happy modeling and bye bye from chambersworth junction